Good morning, Phantom Fleet. You're talking to Aragon Brisinger, the fleet owner. Today's tutorial, how to do a mine. First of all, as you can see, I am currently on Earth's space dock, otherwise known as ESD. So, first of all, we're going to click on the beam to ship button. That's this one up here, you see? That's it there. Beam to ship. Once the pop-up comes up, click it. Let's get into space. You'll have to forgive my computer. It is quite a pain in the bum at times. Okay, as you can see, we're now in space. There's Earth. Oh, look, I can see my house. <laughs> okay, right. Um, now you need to click on Go to Sector Space. That's the one over here. Depart System. It'll come up. You click Yes to leave. As you can see, we're moving to the Cyrus sector block. Um, um, don't mind me just answering a message on what do you call it, right? Now, first of all, I will advise you to press the M button on your keyboard or whatever your map button is. This brings up the map. As you can see, we're here at the Sol system. We need to move the map down past the Delta Valorius cluster until you see the Beta Ursa sector block. That's this one here. No, I don't want to use your silly shot, go away. Right, you need to click on the arrow so it comes up with auto travel. Flat course to the Beta Ursa sector block, Captain. Of course. Then, as you can see, your ship will now be moving. Answering a message as you can see on the screen there. Dee -dee -dee -dee. As you can see, you're passing loads and lots of little people. And yes, this is this is my ship. It's quite a strange thing. It's one of the Elachi ones. And this is what will happen. When you're travelling there, it'll pop up. Do you want to warp to the Delta Florius cluster? You go, not now. we have yes and by the way that's my bridge officer oh isn't he ugly okay we now want to warp to the beta ursa sector so we click the warp button do you know i'm terrible at these videos but if it helps you new members then right now that we're in the beta ursa sector we need to click the, the map button that's m on your keyboard see right as you can see there's beige or Deep Space Nine. Where we want to go is the Vlug Asteroid Field. You can also do the Dilithium Mine for the fleet. But first we're going to do the Vlug Asteroid Mining, basically. Or whatever you want to call it. It's basically just the Asteroid um, Field. Since we're in a bit of a hurry, I'm going to speed up a bit. Go! Super fast movement! Just be glad I'm not in my other ship. That's even slower than this one. As you can see, there's one of our members, Jet, there that I've just went past. I went past my, the mining station here. 
Stop, 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 you useless. Yeah. I hate when it does that. Sorry about that, everybody. My ships just went and overshot where we're meant to be going. So, yep, yeah, what we're trying to do is get to the asteroid field. As you can see, auto travel to the asteroid field. This time, hopefully, I'll be able to get to the right spot. There's, as you can see, Jet is one of our new members, which is one of the reasons I'm actually doing the tutorial. Right, now when you get to the asteroid field, you want to click on the go to the mining station. As you can see, you will not get this screen because that's because I'm in a team with Jet. But you should just beam automatically to the asteroid field. So here we go, we're now loading them the asteroid. And now, as you can see, it's a lovely little area. First of all, we're going to go and talk to the... Well, you can't really see her because this guy is standing in it. This little Ferengi lady over here, talk to Ishi, or Ishai, or Ishilil, whichever one you want. Now, you'll be presented with this screen. The bottom one, if you are fortunate enough to be able to open up the lockboxes with the keys, which are Zen buys, by the way, you'll be able to do this one. Otherwise, you'll have to just do the ordinary mining, which is the asteroid mining. Click on it. It'll tell you all about it. Click on accept. Then close the screen. Now, you first of all, after you've done that, you now need to equip your EVA suit. Now, for example, if I take mine off and put my body suit on. Yeah. That's what I look like with my body suit on. You'd, you drag them over and then let go and that will sort you to your AVA suit. AVA suits are essential. If you don't have one, you can get one from the exchange and we will refund you the money. Just email Aragon at the cost. Now, when you equip your AVA suit, you will see this new icon. When you click on it, it activates the suit. You must activate the suit or else you can't go outside. Now, afterwards, you will see this icon here. It says Exit Airlock. You need to click on that. And once you do that, ta-da, you're now on the asteroid. Right. If you click on your map again, you will see these yellow circles. They are also on your minimap. As you can see, the yellow circles are here. And the yellow circles are here. Now... Right, once you're on the mining surface, you need to navigate your character to the yellow circles. Like so. As you can see, I'm walking on the earth. Yeah, it's a mining asteroid. Right. It's two minutes, I'm just answering a question from Jet. Okay, right. If you click when you when you reach the area on your map, you'll get this icon that says mine rocks. When you click on the mine rocks, it loads up a new screen. Now, the trick here is you have to match the triangle to the orangey red one, like so. Now, the easiest way to do this is to use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Like so. And now, when you, as you see, as you're mining, your score goes up and the time counter counts down. 
You have 60 seconds to try to mine as much dilithium as you can get. The highest score is 700. Once you reach 700, that's it. You, you, you get the maximum dilithium awarded. So don't worry if you get like 800, 900 or whatnot. Just try your best to get the 700. If you get under it, don't worry either. You still get rewarded something. Um, as you see, I only scored 695. Okay, you click collect all and as you can see, over here, I've been awarded 160 dilithium and two technical schematics. And that's it, basically. You just then move to the next spot on your map, as you can see, like so. And this basically covers how to mine at the, what do you call it? The Vegas, the Vegas asteroid field. That's enough of that. Right, the next one I'll do will be the fleet one. As you can see, you move the triangles, you turn around, you make it bigger, you make it bigger. Whee! Right. Next guide is the fleet one. Stay tuned. <laughs> 